Adventure Adventures. I'm David. I'm Vicky. I'm Michael. And I'm Maria Paula. We're students at Lincoln School in Costa Rica. Today we're going to bring you along on our school field trip to meet some very special people, an indigenous tribe of Costa Rica called the Maleku. We're going to learn about their traditions, language, and culture. Let's go! The Maleku are one of Costa Rica's few remaining indigenous groups. They have lived in the northern part of our country since before the Spaniards arrived in the New World. Once numbering in the tens of thousands, their population has decreased a lot. Today, there are only about 600 Maleku left. Like many indigenous peoples around the world, the land they own has also shrunk. Now they live on a reservation. This one is near the town of Guatuso. The Maleku are working hard to keep their culture and traditions from disappearing. For this reason, they make an effort to teach their children their traditional ways. They also invite tourists and school groups like us to come visit them and learn about their way of life. We feel honored to help these indigenous people preserve their culture by sharing with you what we learned. Here we are at a local Maleka school. Like us, the children speak Spanish as their main language, but their parents and teachers also teach them their traditional language. We played a fun game with the Maleku kids. We taught them the English translation of some Spanish words, and they taught us the Maleku translation of the same words. Árbol en inglés es tree. Tree. Árbol, ya aprendió. Se dice corachía. ¿Cómo se dice casa en Maleku? Uh, I love you en Maleku. Tukuruku. Some of the words were hard to say on both sides. Bird. 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 They do some things differently than we do. They don't have many toys on their playground. They mostly ride their bikes or walk to school, whereas we ride in cars or buses. Even though we have some differences, we learned we also have lots in common. Like liking soccer. And fishing. And playing. And candy! Soon it was time to leave our new friends and head to another palenque, or village, to learn more about Maleku culture. Here at Palenque Tonghibe, we learn more of the language, including how to write the words. <coughs> These are some of the words we learned. Capi Capi. Hello. Wae. Yes. Afecapian. Thank you. Hippet. No. Fufu. Morpho Butterfly. Pecpen. Frog. Billy. Toucan. Laka. Planet Earth. We got to enjoy a delicious, typical meal. We also learned about some traditions, like this native dress. The material comes from a tree. The people don't wear these traditional clothes all the time, just for ceremonies, and when they're sharing their culture with visitors. These buildings are the traditional style of house. Unfortunately, most of the natural resources the Maleku used to build a home like this have become endangered or cleared away by farmers who took their land. So not many structures like this exist anymore. The Maleku are artists. Selling their crafts is one way for them to earn an income. <laughs> Our Maleku guide took us on a hike into the forest to show us some of the wonders of nature. It was a muddy track, but lots of fun and really interesting. Like many indigenous cultures, nature is sacred to the Maleku. At one time, nature provided everything that people needed. Food, water, air, medicine, materials for building, cooking, and even for their clothing. Nature still provides much for the Maleku and for all of us. 
For this reason, the Maleku feels strongly about the need to protect their environment. Neither the Maleku nor we can live without it. This is the tree that their clothing comes from. It's sacred to the Maleku and also endangered. This is a rubber tree. Our guide showed us how the rubbery sap is a natural candle. Watch! The leaves of this palm are used in making houses. There are dozens and dozens of plants here in the forest that cure all kinds of illnesses. The leaves of this tree are for allergies. This plant is to purify the blood. This plant is used for anesthesia. Chew it and in a few seconds you can fill your mouth. Chew it! Un traguito. As we walked through the woods, we came upon a surprise. This tribe elder gave a little speech in Malekum. He told us we need to respect nature and the forest. On the way back, we saw a monkey in the tree. And we fell a bunch of times on the slippery mud. 48 times to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> the final experience of our field trip was a short Maleku play in their language. The message of the play is that nature is disappearing. It's getting harder and harder to find clean water and clean air. The trees and the animals are disappearing. The medicines and the food are disappearing. For this reason, the Maleku say, we must conserve nature. We must preserve nature. We must care for nature. The play ended with a special dance. Some of us and even the teachers got the chance to join in. Our Malaku friends opened their hearts and their community to us. We learned a lot about how important it is to preserve indigenous cultures as well as the natural world we all share. We hope you will spread the word. Thanks for coming along on our supernatural cultural adventure. Afikapian! That's thank you in Malaku. <laughs>